I guess children have this kind of innocence about them, you know. This kid that walked into clinic had no idea who I was or, or what had happened and had recovered completely fine and was just a happy baby. But honestly, you know, why would you do, why would you do anything else? That, that's what I always tell people because it's a job where you, you come in every day and you have no idea what's going to happen and that's fantastic. I had quite an um, international background. Um, I was actually born in Saudi Arabia, but had kind of expatriate parents, so my dad is British. My mum's uh, Brazilian-Japanese. Going to university at 18 was, was the first time I came to the UK. Hull York Medical School was actually one of my first choices. I think there was a lot of support for, uh, I think, international students in general. So it's just a really friendly campus and a really friendly staff, and that made it really comfortable to set in quickly. There's a very special feeling that you get when you have a baby who's potentially really unwell and you perform an operation, you know, seeing them walk into clinic, just behave like a completely normal baby, crawling around, looking for the play box. It's that feeling of thinking, oh, I've really made a difference here. Hull York Medical School. Uh, it's difficult to condense it because there's so many positive factors. I definitely really enjoyed the PBL sessions and the way that that kind of makes you self-sufficient with your learning. And the early exposure to, to patients was excellent as well. I distinctly remember it was my second year where, when I first went into the operating room. That was an incredible experience. The communication skills is one of the most useful things that, that I came out of medical school with because it's so critical to, to particularly what I do, you know, working with, with children, with, with parents, from when they're in high stress situations. It's so important to have solid communication skills, and I think Hull York Medical School really gave that to me. I'm involved with is teaching the next generation of both medical students and uh, like more junior doctors, junior surgeons. I think it's a really important aspect of medical education in general, and it's kind of a culture that definitely extends from my time in Hull York Medical School, where we're so keen on teaching and so keen on and so enthusiastic about passing on knowledge, and so definitely feels very rewarding to, to continue that tradition. I, I've been in, in the UK now for, I think, 10 years, and that's the longest I've been anywhere. So <laughs> apart from the actual medical school curricula, apart from actually learning medicine, uh, I definitely recommend it for the friendships that you make and for the, the people that you meet along the way. It is hard work, and there's a lot of kind of weekends that, you, that you'll be working when your mates are you know, down in the pub or <laughs> you get a lot out of treating patients and making people better and training the next generation. So it's hard work in that sense, but why, why would you be doing anything else? <laughs>